we have completed the lesson and now we move on to the post reading session uh, so here we have a small exercise that is choose a sentence that best summarizes the main ideas in each paragraph of the text so here it is given paragraph a there are three sentences paragraph b there are three same way c d and e so this is exactly a summary of the whole lesson now to do this now we have to find out from the in paragraph a out of the three sentences you have to find out the main idea there are three sentences given the main idea should be picked out so here so in order to do this exercise you have to go back to the lesson and read the lesson more and then come back and do the exercise so we'll pause for a for five minutes go back to the lesson read the first paragraph and give me the answer for the first one that is paragraph a So the answer for paragraph A is the second sentence. That is, Sir C. V. Raman won a Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 1930. That is the main idea, most important sentence in the first paragraph. Now we go to the next one, paragraph B. There are three sentences again. And out of that, pick the most or the main idea of the paragraph. There are three sentences. Read the sentences clearly. Go back to the lesson, paragraph B. Then answer the question. So the answer to this is the second sentence. In the year 1921, Raman made his first trip abroad as a delegate for the university's congress. So that is the most important idea in the in paragraph B. Now we go on to the next paragraph, paragraph C. What is the most important or the main idea conveyed out of the three sentences there? Go back to the paragraph, read it carefully, take five minutes or maybe two minutes. You can read the paragraph and come back and give the answer. So paragraph C the most important point is the first one. During the trip, Raman showed through his experiments with the Nicole prism that sunlight was scattered by water molecules of the sea. Okay. Now we move on to the next, that is paragraph D. In paragraph D, identify the main idea. Read the paragraph and identify the main idea. So in paragraph D, what is the answer? Again, it is the first sentence. Raman had claimed. Sorry, it is the second one. It was his work with the scattering of lights by liquids which fetched him the Nobel Prize for Physics. So that is the most important sentence there or the main idea of that paragraph. Now let's go to paragraph E. What is the main idea there? So you can read the paragraph and answer. So here what is the main idea? The first sentence. The discovery of the Raman effect led to Raman spectroscopy, a field of study that has a lot of practical applications. So you have the answers there. Now we move on to the question answers. Now there are two questions for the lesson. That is, why was Raman awarded the Nobel Prize? And according to Raman, why is the sea blue in color? So the first question here, why was Raman awarded the Nobel Prize is can be asked as an essay question or a short question. So you have to be prepared with both. Now, if it is an essay question, you have to start right with the introduction. 
right from Raman's childhood and all the background information and how he developed his interest for physics, how he went on with his experiments and how he finally received the Nobel Prize. So you have to and the applications of the of the Raman effect or Raman spectroscopy also should be mentioned if it is asked as a let's say question. Otherwise, if it's a short question, answer accordingly. Now, next one, according to Raman, why is the sea blue in color? Most probably this would be asked as a short question. And you can answer from the the answer is exactly in the third paragraph. You can read the paragraph and prepare the answer. He found out why, like earlier it was believed that the sea, the blue color of the sea was a reflection of the sky. But Raman did many experiments and found out that that was not the reason. So you can write or prepare the answer uh, by reading paragraph C. So prepare the answers. And we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.